Okay, I want to break down a few Hafa Mendez anaconda chokes uh, from a role maybe 10, 11 years ago. I learned a lot from this role, and uh, Hafa's probably got the best anaconda choke of all time. It's very innovative with how he did this. Instead of gator rolling, he would just kind of roll through the guard. So already he's over here on the neck. Uh, Tamim Hamui is the other guy. He's he's an excellent black belt, even at this at this time. Uh it was already a black belt here. He had a great coyote guard. He has a lot of good crucifix stuff. So he kind of pulled half guard off that exchange. And Hoffa's kind of using this like a rolling Kimura almost, right? Like he's controlling the corner of the body here. He's got the posture and he's just got to free his foot here. And what Hoffa did that was so innovative was he would try to clear the guard instead of conventionally pass through it. And then just use his inner thigh here to trap on top of this elbow to kind of deepen... Uh, the arm trap make the choke deeper and get a little bit of a pin on it as well so you watch this foot is going to end up coming through really keeping the chest glued to like the shoulders right there now you can see the leg come on top right Tamim tries to get on top there but the grip is pretty set couldn't tell there from this angle if a leg was trapped or not on that um, getting a leg trap obviously makes it a little deeper but a lot of times if you have a good bite over the arm it doesn't really matter <clears throat> right here if you look this is just such a great way to overhook a lot of people they'll hug up on on the other person's arm and really keeping like pouring out a cup of coffee is what I call this um, and this is just like a great way to distribute weight through their 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 arm and their shoulder and to kind of kill the power of that underhook so half of me try to roll you know, almost like a back step rolling Kimura there. Um, yeah, a little hip heist. Getting up. I don't know if he's going to roll him overhead or front flip himself. Right? Once you get that front headlock, though, you can go either way. You can roll over the top or roll them over the top. So it's the exact same situation here. He's just got to free this leg. Boom. He's kind of freed it. It looks like he's on top of the arm already, but just trying to get the grip deep enough. He said it. Now, uh, right here. Tamim's doing an excellent job of like putting his palms together to press and try to open, uh, open up his elbow. That's going to pull his shoulder away from the side of his neck, make it harder to get choked. So Hoffa's going to probably, yeah, he's re-engaging that leg there. And you can see, you know, with that coverage, there's so much. You can, it's, it's even almost a leg triangle right here. It's just so much coverage. It's going to make it really hard to to get out of that. It's cool that they're starting on the feet. Even if you're going to pull guard, I think it's cool to start on the feet if you have the space to do it. At this point, you know, Tamim was playing a lot of that half guard, so you see him pulling that. Real cool here, right? All right, so let's run that back. We see Hoffa switch sides real quick. Uh, I did a private with him on this anaconda and I've done a couple seminars and he's real big. He doesn't like to choke with his left arm. So he's switching to a side where he can get the right arm over the top. All right. This time the legs are out a little freer, but they roll through. Tamim gets his base. Now Hoffa is not going to gator roll to his left, right? He also kind of popularized what you're about to see here. Instead of going to the left, he knows he needs his right choking knuckles facing the ceiling, so he just goes ahead and takes a shortcut and is just going to go to the right, possibly trapping the arm before he goes. Tamim again, palms together. He's opening up that space. Boom. Two for one deal there on trapping the arm and the leg at the same time. And this this roll was just crazy. I, this was like one of the first rolls the Mendez Bros posted, like, uh, you know, way way back in the day. And uh, Hoffa had really come onto the scene and really killed it um, at ADCC with this anaconda choke, but I hadn't put out an instructional or anything, so nobody really had seen you know him do it so much. So seeing it like this in the training room was just really helpful. This was like one of the more impactful rolls on my personal game. Here, put some seated guard feet in the hips. De La Hiva hook. 
almost just kind of brought the hips to the mat. Come straight up, right? So in the in nogi, it's it's definitely not as easy to do the barambolo. It's we see we do see it more now, but even back then, right? I think Hoffa was big on just skipping that when he was in nogi, right? And just went ahead and come up automatically rolling through and you can kind of camp on your shoulders right here and use your legs and your feet right if you look to meme is definitely up on what's going on right now and he brings his right elbow in close to the ribs right because he doesn't want it to get pulled away so Hoffa's on the shoulders using his heels to peel that elbow out I don't know if it's anaconda number three or four but I think there's like four or five in this role I don't know we might see another one we might not but I'll keep it going see what we see More stuff on the feet Hoffa love those feet on the hip butterfly guard almost like elevating to a single leg X Ashi kind of game De La Hiva hook Boom, and that's unintentional Barambolo. Let's run that back, right? If someone has a De La Hiva guard on you, right here, and if you roll for a toe hold against this free leg, if they roll across their shoulders, boom, this is a Barambolo position right here. Huffa's gonna either take the back or come up on a leg drag here, I can't remember. Okay, so kind of crab ride. Okay, and he's just coming up for the leg drag. And since both the knees are pointing away, he's got good back exposure. If he beats inside that elbow, yeah, right here. So once he's on top, right, he's got to get his bicep inside that elbow. And once it's between that elbow and the torso, boom, right there, it's going to be a good back take. Chair sit, fundamental movement, you've got to know it. We see like a rear naked choke or an arm lock here. Hoffa did those arm locks in the back all the time. That kind of looked like a shoulder lock. Couldn't really see that well from this angle. The round is about over. There's probably not another anaconda. Let's see. Okay, another half guard pull. Okay, maybe from here, right? Pinning that wrist, trying to force the wrestle up, jumping on it. Time is going to run out, though, I think, before he can free that leg. Yeah. Yeah, so that's it. You know, really, really great uh, great video back in the day for, for trying to dissect and, and figure out what Hoffa was doing with those anaconda chokes.